it's diwali day diwali is uh, the biggest hindu holiday equivalent to christmas after quarter of a century i began to somewhat observe uh, diwali uh, by that i mean i just put on a new cloth that somebody brought in because it's customary for all people who celebrate diwali to wear new clothes on that day it's not the big deal the biggest deal is just uh, you want to recall the context uh, or uh, the mythology around the celebration of diwali according to the diwali mythology it is the day that uh, krishna the high god of the hindus killed uh, a demon called narakasura narakasura the name itself is significant because it uh, reminds of the human conditioning naraka or nara is one uh, pertaining to the earth plane and he was also uh, the son of the mother goddess the earth goddess and he is also the son of uh, the boar avatar of vishnu there is another version of it but according to the the mainline tradition narakasura the demon was born out of the boar avatar of, of vishnu uh and he was born between the boar and the mother goddess lakshmi and according to another version he was the son of hiranya uh so the story is very significant so the symbol the symbolism behind is uh, is about the earth plane and uh, the origin of of the demon is also out of the earth the boar is uh, it digs the earth and the story also the the boar uh, went deep into the earth in order to rescue the mother goddess uh, lakshmi or the earth goddess lakshmi who was uh, kidnapped by a demon and the demon was associated with gold so when you uh, so oh, try to make sense of this uh, mythology behind this is it's all about human human conditioning human life and the life of this demon uh, is similar to the life of the human beings and the demon was so greedy and he wanted to have an earth world to come under his control and then he was so uh, uh, ruthless in getting wealth from other people and and women and so forth and he was leading a, a very inappropriate life at the expense of other people just to satisfy his own senses and greed and this is exactly the condition of the human uh, the human beings today So the story goes that uh, at the regime of this guy went for uh, Narakasura uh, went for some time and Vishnu his own father uh, incarnated as Krishna and killed him and as he was killed uh, he had a request that his death should be celebrated uh, by everyone on the earth plane so diwali is the day uh, when we remember the death of narakasura so what it means is uh, here the greed has come to an end and by who by a person who was his own father 
uh, Vishnu, but reincarnated as Krishna. So Diwali really means the death of a greedy person who was immoral in uh, every sense of the term. And that came to an end. And I wanted to do this video because it seems very appropriate uh, to what is going on in the world today. Greed has gone out of control and God has to check the greed and then stop it. And I just recall uh, uh, the mythology of Narakasura uh, on this day where we are facing situation uh, of uh, greed being um, uh, controlled by uh, contemporary happenings, whether it is the unrest in the Middle East and uh, the dictators losing ground or being killed. All this uh, is a good sign of a golden age uh, that is going to come. And I have no doubt in my mind the golden age is starting as of now. I am going to be just going to go deep within in order to prepare myself for the job for which I have come to the set plane, which is to facilitate the golden age. Now I want to go back and talk about uh, what is going to happen to the financial industry. Is the world uh, can anyway live without money? No, it cannot. So we have to have some kind of an economic system that has to go. Otherwise, uh, things on this earth plane will not work. You know, we cannot go to the barter system which we had before. And uh, in the beginning of our civilization, before uh, we developed uh, the current economic system with, uh, with money and coins and currency and so forth. So the, the other alternative is just uh, the barter system. So that's not a possibility for us to go back into the barter system. And I think the way it's going to uh, be resolved is that we should have a proper relationship with money. We cannot just dump money and hate money and uh, live without money. That's not going to work. Money will always be there in some form or the other. So dumping it or hating it will not go, is not going to be um, a choice uh, and it will never happen. So what needs to happen is a proper relationship with money. A proper relationship with money is that human beings should develop uh, uh, compassion to share the money between themselves and that's very important and then not have greed and uh, that is what I want to recall on this day of Diwali that greed will destroy the person who is greedy and also the environment in which he is living and also it is uh, destroying other people also. So, so greed has to go. And greed is uh, an outcome of, uh, of ignorance. Only an ignorant person will be greedy. An intelligent person will never be greedy. So greed goes with ignorance hand in hand. So the, when ignorance uh, is put to an end, then the greed will also go, go away. So that has to happen. 
and that will happen uh, in many ways and one way that has started to happen is uh, trouble for all the people who are who have more money than they really need but then the the learning has to occur on both sides the people who are revolting against and also the people who are rich and the politicians they all have to come together and then find a solution there should be there will also be some external factors that will expedite the process and that factor is uh, natural calamities everywhere where people won't be able to handle those calamities and then will be forced to uh, turn to god and ask for a solution at that level then we will see a solution emerging um because people will know that they are unable by themselves to solve the problem so who has to solve the problem god then then there will be ethics then there will be morality i am happy to uh, do this uh, little video clip for you because this gives you an idea of what is going to happen uh to the world and how we will transition from the money based greed based uh, uh, materialistic paradigm to a spiritual paradigm i will do more videos uh, down the road